came from the trot, um, a good show outside, but then again, you come back to the Portla where you weren't really happy with the way the wicket played. So, do you think uh, it, it's more difficult coming back now after three, uh, winning three games to your home, home ground? Uh, it shouldn't be, no, it shouldn't be any more difficult. Um, it's going to be more difficult for Mumbai, I think, coming and playing on, on this sort of surface. So, um, Look, I think we have a, a pretty good, pretty clear understanding now of how our wicket is going to play. We, we expect that it's going to be quite slow. We think it'll be quite low and it'll probably turn a little bit. So um, we just have to be well prepared for that. I think the last wicket probably caught us a little bit off guard. We probably we thought it was going to play a bit better than it did last time. But um, at the end of the day, um, the wicket is what it is. Both teams have to play on it. And then hopefully we can play uh, better on this one than we did on the last one. Vicky, how has uh, Rishabh uh, taken the World Cup exposure? Look, I had a quick chat to him on Monday night. Monday night, I think, when the team was named. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, look, he seems to have taken it pretty well. I mean, there's no doubt that he's, he's disappointed. I'm sure he would have loved to have been in that squad, as a lot of other players would have as well. Um, but the thing with him that we that he has to remember, and we all have to remember, is he's still very, very young. And he's got an opportunity to play in, you know, potentially either three, three or four World Cups through his course of his career so you know what's uh what's been a, a negative thing for him not being picked in the indian team i think will be a really positive thing for the delhi capitals you know i'm, I'm uh, really happy that um that decision's been made now and he can focus on on just being the best player that he can be for the, for the capitals through the, the back half of this tournament and as i said a few games ago you know he's won one game for us single-handedly which was the game in mumbai he had, a, he had a big impact on the game that we won in calcutta and i'm sure as the tournament goes on you'll see him win, win more games for us uh, he, he I'm Satin. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is you should ask him the same question as uh, how Rishabh is mentally prepared, you know. Everybody is saying so many things about every great even Gavaskar saying something, all the legends saying some somebody saying that he's a strict impatience. Do you agree with that? Uh, no. Did that, that cost him the place in the Well, if 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 they're only going what's Look, I don't know what went into the selection criteria. I don't, I don't know why he's, he's not being picked. I don't know why the other guys have been picked ahead of him. And to be honest, that's none of my business. You know, he, I don't think he's impatient. I think he's a very smart player. To be honest, I think he, he sums up conditions very well. He sums up situations in games very well, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but they've obviously got their reasons for not having him in that World Cup squad. But uh, yeah, I can't really comment on what those are because I only, I only know I know what I know of him and I, I know he's a, a very talented and very determined player and you know, I actually think that him missing out um, you might see a different player in the back half of this IPL he's a as I said his determination will shine through and I'm sure he'll he'll score heavily in the back half of this tournament. Vicky, uh, just a continuation of the question. Were you surprised when your team was not included and in the middle of uh, a tournament like an IPL how uh, do you boost the morale of the players? Um, yeah, I was surprised when he was left out of the squad. I, I thought he'd be in and I thought he'd actually play on their starting 11, to be honest. I, I thought that someone like him batting at number four or five or whatever in, the, in their side could just, just be the sort of player that could have had that sort of X factor about him that could have been the difference between India and some other teams in, in the World Cup. So, look, yes. Yes, I was surprised, but as I said, I, I don't understand the reasons why. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not a selector of the Indian team, and obviously got very good reasons why they picked the other guys as well. And one thing we know about Indian cricket is that you know, there is a lot of depth around, particularly on the batting side, I think. So, unfortunately, this time, Rishabh's the one that missed out. But as I said, I, I think uh, knowing what he's like and what talents he's got, I, I'll, be, I'll be surprised if he doesn't play at least three World Cups before his career's over. And how do you boost the morale of the player in such a situation during the tournament? I think it's just really important now that he focuses on the little things that's going to make him a good player for us. Um, simple as that. There's nothing he can do now. Obviously We've got a new challenge tomorrow. Mumbai obviously playing some really good cricket as well. Um, back to our home ground. We, we want to play some good cricket here. We haven't done that really as yet, apart from that you know, heart-stopping um, heart win against uh, the Knight Riders here. So we, we just want to make sure that we're a really hard team to beat at home. You know, We've got four games to go here. If we win uh, a few of those, then we're, we're getting close to that playoff stage. But you know, right now, we're just the same as every other team. You know, no, no team has qualified yet, um, and we, we're exactly the same. So we're just going to focus on tomorrow. If you don't play your best on any given day, you know that any team can beat you. It's as simple as that. So that's our whole, whole focus for tomorrow. You know, we've got to put the conditions aside. We, we know what it, we have a pretty good idea what they're going to be like. We're just got to find the right way to play. And 
with the talent that we've got in our group, if we find the right way to play here tomorrow, then I know we're going to be hard to beat. And we're going to be hard to beat in every game we play going forward. I can guarantee everybody that.